In this video, I'm going to walk you through a demo web page that uses the Cisco Spark People API. Let's first talk about what this video is going to show. So I'm going to start by talking about what the demo actually entails. After that, we'll go over to the Spark Developer Portal to replicate the API calls that are used in the demo. I'll then show you how to download the code from GitHub and where you'll want to add in your own access token to the JavaScript files so that you can test this on your own personal computer. And lastly, we'll finally take a look at that HTML demo web page that we've built for you. This demo shows an example web page which consists of an HTML, JavaScript, and CSS files. The web page will feature a web form where you can type in an email address, and it will then use the Cisco Spark People API to get details of the Spark user related to that email address. Specifically, we're going to see the user's Spark alphanumeric person ID and the user's avatar image. So let's go ahead and take a look at the API that we're going to use in the Spark Developer Portal. I'm at developer.ciscospark.com. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, I'm logged in to my Spark account. So now I'm going to navigate over to the People API and go to List People. So here there's a list of query parameters that I can enter to narrow the scope of my People Details search. By entering an email or display name, it's going to search the Cisco Spark organization that I'm a part of. I'm going to go ahead and type in the user rgatters. I'm going to hit run and on the right you'll see the JSON response. I get the details of this specific user. Here you can see the ID string. This is the person ID that I mentioned previously. An avatar is a link. If I, if I open up that link, I see an image of this user's avatar. Using the same people API, we've written an HTML and JavaScript file that can grab this information and display it in a nice visually appealing way. Before we look at the file itself, I'm going to show you how to download it from GitHub. So we're going to navigate over to github.com and it's slash ctgtme team. We're looking for the repository called Spark People API. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You'll see the list of files here. And over on the right, um, there's clone or download. You can clone this to your computer if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and download it as a zip. So the way my computer is set up is anytime I download something, it asks me where I want to save it. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop. Now I am going to unzip that file and view the contents. So here's all the files that uh, were inside of it. I'm going to go ahead and open this up with my text editor of choice, which is Sublime. So here are those files. Um, I want to note here, we, we have an important note in the readme, make sure to update your access token variable. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you where to do that. So inside of the JavaScript file right here, we have it kind of starred that we need to put in our access token. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the developer portal and grab that. So if I click on my user ID, I can copy that and go back over to Sublime and paste it in, be in between those apostrophes. And now I'm going to want to make sure that I hit save. And now I'm going to navigate back over um, to the file here, the HTML file, and I'm going to go ahead and open that with Chrome. So here it is. Now I can go ahead and enter the email address of any one of the um, users in my organization that I want to get the details for. So like I showed previously, we'll go ahead and, and enter our gatters. And there we go, we see their alphanumeric person ID and their avatar image. I can also uh, enter a handful of other users as long as they're in my organization or I've recently had a Spark conversation with them, I'll be able to, to grab their details. So that is the Spark People API demo. Go ahead and download the code from GitHub and test it out for yourself. Thanks for watching.